Hello, I'm Jenny Parker, and in this short video, I'll describe how we analysed and designed the ICT in the Classroom Unit that was delivered in Semester 2, 2011. This unit has been delivered many times before, however this is only the second iteration for our authentic e-learning research study. The focus, aim, cohort and the purpose of the unit are the same as the first iteration for the study which was delivered in semester 2, 2010. The same analysis worksheet and guiding questions that were used to analyse the first iteration of the study were also used to analyse this iteration. The learning objectives are also the same as the first iteration. However, we have noted that the clarity of the third learning objective could be improved by changing have an appreciation of to either describe or explain the key issues. We will suggest this as a recommendation for the next iteration of the unit. Based on our evaluation of the previous iteration, we've decided to include a scenario to describe where and how the knowledge and skills would be applied in the real workplace to encourage students to immerse themselves in the context. We've replaced the examination with another authentic task, Task 1, that will assist students to develop the skills and knowledge to create a professional quality website and to introduce all students to common communication and collaboration technologies such as Skype, Digo and Google Docs. In Task 2, students will be required to present their PowerPoint presentation as an online video which includes footage of themselves to meet the invigilation requirements for assessment. Task 3 remains unchanged. After reanalyzing the unit, we then updated the unit information and learning guide to reflect the changes to the unit design. We updated the task instructions and the assessment information clarified some of the terminology and included more detailed information about supporting resources. All tasks are still individual tasks, however we have included more opportunities for students to communicate, share resources and view each other's work. We also changed the requirement for the essential textbook to be an optional resource and included a study schedule and discussion forums to assist students with the reading and assignment deadlines. This presentation was developed by creating a PowerPoint presentation and then recording the narration and the live PowerPoint on screen using Camtasia Studio and the final product was uploaded to youtube.com. Thank you for listening.